everybody, this is Lisa from Pressure Crisp, and today we're going to be making popcorn in the Ninja Foodi, but we're also going to flavor it, and we're going to try to get it as close to movie popcorn as we can. There was a few items that I picked up on Amazon. I was able to pick up this Flavacol. This has coloring, yellow coloring, and also salt. This salt is like, uh, it's very fine, and it works well with the popcorn. I also found this pure coconut oil. It says pure coconut oil and beta carotene. This is what gives the popcorn at the movies the color. You can use plain coconut oil, that's fine if you have that in the house, like I do. I have coconut oil, you can use this just as well. But to make this popcorn extra special, on Amazon I was able to find, it was a variety pack of um, flavorings for popcorn. Uh, you got the cheesy jalapeno, you've got butter, Bacon cheddar, white cheddar, love the white cheddar. Na, uh, ranch, kettle corn, caramel corn, and nacho cheddar. Nacho cheddar is also great. I haven't tried the caramel corn yet. So let's just jump right in and start making some flavored popcorn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn the Ninja Foodi on. We're gonna hit sear, saute. We're gonna leave it on high, and we're just gonna press start. All right, to this, we're just going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of the colored coconut oil. And like I said before, you can use um, whatever coconut oil you have in the house. So I'm just going to put that. We're going to let that melt. And also, to this coconut oil, I'm going to go ahead and add some of that salt that I picked up on Amazon. I'm only going to add a half a teaspoon as the flavorings contain salt and you don't want it to be too salty. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that over the oil and we're going to mix that so it all mixes up. Um, there is one other thing that I did pick up off Amazon was this spritz. It's butter spritzer. This will help the seasoning adhere to the popcorn. So we're going to let this melt and then we'll add our popcorn. Okay, that's melting nicely. I'm just going to go ahead and add the popcorn. That's one half cup of popcorn. I'm just going to give it a stir so the kernels get covered in the oil as well as the salt. There we go. There, I'm going to push that oil to make sure there we go. And we're just going to add a lid. There is no specific lid to this Ninja Foodi. I just used a lid that I have on another big pot. And we're just going to wait for that to start popping. Okay, so we're starting to get a, little, a lot more action in there. Um, we still are quite a distance away from them being completely popped. Alright, so we're still popping a bit. Um, you want to watch it closely at this point because once it starts to really slow down, you want to Take the lid off and take the pot out of the Ninja Foodi and pour off the popcorn. All right, and I think we're there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. Take the lid off. Oh, yeah. It's still popping away a little. Take it off the heat. And we're going to pour it off into bowls. And look at that. I wish you had smell-o-vision. I mean, look. You got nice. I mean, there are some white kernels just like at the movie theater. But look, these are great. That color in the coconut oil as well as the salt gives it a nice um, movie theater color. And it definitely, definitely needs more salt. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of this off into another bowl. Whoops. The only person that's going to eat this is me. So I don't want you to think um, handling all the popcorn. So what you're going to do with that flavoring, you're just going to go, let's grab it. I started to add the flavoring without buttering it. This thing, it says to shake vigorously for, just says shake well before use and spray 6 to 12 inches away from the popcorn. Alright, so we sprayed it vigorously. We're just going to squirt the popcorn. Give it a quick skirt, squirt, and then you're going to take your seasoning. Whoops, without getting it everywhere. And you're just going to coat the popcorn. There we go. So we got a little bit more from the bottom. Give it another squirt. You don't have to use too much. Um, but this is, I mean, it's, the nacho is really nice. 
Now we're just going to mix this popcorn up and let's give it a taste. Mmm. It tastes like a it's not so cheddar. Not as flavorful as a Dorito, but you can add more seasoning if you want. And that's really good. Adds a nice flavor and it does add some salt. So to this one, I'm going to give it a squirt. I kind of like the wider bowl here. Let's go for the bacon cheddar. I'm just going to take your seasoning, put it on there. There we go. Give it a shake. Another squirt. And another shake. And that's all there is to it with those. You have to admit, they are cute. I love these things. Um, we're going to give this one a taste. Mmm. Strong taste of bacon. That is really good. So, go ahead and pick these up. Like I said, you get the sample pack on Amazon, and I'll put a link below down in my description. This is a good way to taste them all, and then you can buy the ones that you really like. Also, the grocery store sells, like, the butter... They do sell the white cheddar in the larger. They do sell them in larger containers. And um, pick this up on Amazon. This is really good. But like I said, you can use the plain coconut oil and also the retro salt. But this is like a fine powder. Let me show you what it looks like. Yes, my hands are dry. Look at that. This, this salt is specifically made for popcorn. So let me just toss that on the popcorn. And... Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook group page, uh, Pressure Crisp. Uh, please like it. Please join. We're just posting recipes. Since it is Super Bowl week, I'm asking everybody what they're going to be making for the big game. All right. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.